What's up guys, it's Captain Miss Productions 72 back with another episode of Figure Friday, which should have really come out last week. I apologize for not doing one last week, though I explained in the previous episode or my previous video, which was you asked in episode 18 why I did that. So today is episode 89 and we're doing R2D2 from all the way back in 2008. So before we begin, if you do enjoy, like, comment and subscribe, do all those fun things. And we can get into this. So, right off the bat, this is many figures in so, so many sets. Normally, I like to try and throw up the amount of sets the many figures were in, but I'm not going to do that for time's sake, because see the amount of sets this guy was in, or this many figure was in, was crazy. First appeared in the 2008 Death Star, and he was also in the Battle, for, Battle of Endor in 2009, 2010 Lux Land Speeder, um, I think he might have been in the Ewok Village, and um, he was in the Droid Escape Pod. I know he was in the 2012 X-Wing as well. Um, those are just the ones I know off the top of my head that I'm just going to list because, wow. Even the Lego Star Wars um, um, Ultimate Collector's book, like the book that has everything in it, doesn't actually know for some reason, like... When you look at the minifigure, it does it just says two thousand and eight, two thousand and thirteen, whereas all the other R two D twos have an exact list of their sets. So you can tell how popular this minifigure or how many sets he actually got into back in the day. So we've not seen this minifigure for eight years and we never will again, like this exact version. They replaced them with a brand new version in two thousand fourteen, which is okay, but personally this R two D two minifigure here is one I have nostalgia for. Believe it or not, this is the one that I grew up with as a kid, so this is the one that I have nostalgia for. I got this one, actually, I re-bought this figure last year in a set, not last year, two years ago actually, with the Luke's Land Speeder. Again, was a set he was in, and this is a really cool minifigure, I mean, he's not detailed, well he is detailed, but you know, it might not look as nice as the new one, the new one looks okay, I mean, not my favourite design, this is my favourite design. But it's a cool R2-D2 nonetheless, and um, let's have a look at this really cool R2-D2. So, you can see, it, nothing's changed, the shape's always been the same. The printing on mine has faded a bit at the front, I do apologise for that. Um, this R2-D2 may not have stood the test of time so well. Um, but, yeah, you can pretty much see, like, the detail has um, come off mine, although I still wanted to do an episode on them. Um... Like, that's rare on these figure fair episodes, you actually get to see a minifigure that's been, you know, used and kind of played with over the years, which, you know, you could kind of see the wear on this R2-D2, he's not in the best condition, I'll be honest, but he's cool. The main change, I think, with the new ones is the head. Like, the head is, I think, is where they went for the change. In fact, I'm just going to go get one of my newer R2-D2s, I have about four or five of the newest R2-D2, just to give you guys a brief comparison over what they look like. In fact, no, they've changed his body as well. Oh, my bad. I thought the body was still the same. I believe that may be the same body they used on the 1999-2008 version, because... I don't know, I think that's right. See, it's weird. In 2008, I think the Death Star came out first, but in 08, so did they set the Twilight, but they still used the 1999 R2-D2 instead of using this one. So, someone can correct me if those sets came out at different times. I know the Twilight was like a... It came out in either July or August 2008, so someone could point that out when the Death Star came out. That would be cool. But, there's not much to say. I mean, this minifigure always goes great with the same C-3PO from that era. In fact, you know what? I will show you that, because why not? Why the hell not? Just get one of my C-3PO from that era. Could zoom out a bit. And we can show you, see, this always looks great, like, I loved doing this as a kid, so, those two minifigures, I mean, the new ones look nice together, obviously, but this just is a retro look, and something that I really like, because, you know, to me, it's retro, anyway. I'm just going to take off C-3PO here, I believe I've done an episode on this guy, in fact, I know I've done an episode on this C-3PO. <laughs> just going to put him away in the drawer there, but... Yeah, um, very basic. He's always stayed the same. There's not much to show. I'll just twirl him around again for you guys, just so you can see what exactly goes on with this minifigure. Again, not much has changed. So, like, on R2-D2, he's still genuinely the same, like, the exact same mode. They've only ever changed the print. They've never added the third leg, and... Wow, this will be a controversial opinion. 
I don't want them to add a third leg to R2D2. I like the this R2D2 because it's a classic Lego design. And I don't feel like they should go adding his extra leg. But yeah, so you guys are probably wondering what next week's episode is. is. And next week on Figure Friday, we are doing an episode 90. We're going to show. So this is kind of embarrassing. I just checked my video schedule. So yeah, she would have been getting episode 90 next week. But next week, Friday, is actually... I'm just going to go back to that page I was on my schedule here. Um, the earliest in April... I could do a channel update would be April 2nd, which unfortunately is a Friday. If I was to wait till the Tuesday, it would be the 6th of April, and I wouldn't want to do it. So, instead of Figure Friday next week, you're actually going to be getting a um, channel update for April. So, it's going to be a while before another episode's up, but the next episode you will get will be 2012 Rebel Fleet Trooper. See you guys on Tuesday with another episode of Mini Mocks.